today the topic of discussion is sql insert into statement so prior to this we have already uh, created a video on creating a table now our job is to insert value in a table let's start insert into statement in sql the insert into statement is used to insert new record in a table so if you want to insert a new record in a table then you use insert into okay then insert into syntax it is possible to write insert into statement in many ways there are many ways of writing insert into statement the first way specifies both column name and values to be inserted so first method we'll study here is that insert into table name then different column names and then values and then those values okay let's see the example insert into example one the the following sql statement insert a new record in employee table as we have already created an employee table prior in this video prior to this video so i request you all to kindly watch create table video of java t point then you will understand this very easily what am i doing is that insert into employee table i'm already created there were four there were four columns employee id name address and city and what values i want to insert one john roini and delhi so this is value i want to insert so what will happen after execution of this statement the table which was having only the column now will have the value also employee id one name is now john address is Roini and city is Delhi. So this is one of the uh, good example of inserting. Okay, this then comes to the insert into sy syntax second method. The second way specifies only value to be inserted. In second method, you only specify values. That is no need to specify the column. Insert into table name and then values and those values you want to insert. See the example. Okay, insert into example two the following SQL insert values in employee table. Insert into employee values one John. Just remember this single code is for this single codes are for varchar value. If there is a varchar value, then you need a single code. Then Rohini and then Delhi. Okay, the moment you do this, see here we are not including any column names before the values. So have you noticed this? So by doing this also you can insert. See the again the on running you will get this answer. One John Rohini and Delhi. Now we have another method. Let's see do that method also. Third method. Insert into syntax. Third method. The third way is to insert multiple values at one go. If suppose you want to fill a table and you want, don't want to write this insert into insert into statement again and again. So what you can do, you can type this statement and you you it will only ask you the values okay then what is that uh, query insert into employ values ampersand column one then in single quote ampersand column two why single quotes if suppose column two is where care having a data type where care having a data type where care then in case of where care you just write single quote then ampersand column 3 then ampersand column 4 so single quote here i have written note single quote is used if the column values are of type where care fine okay insert into example 3 what you do is that insert into employ values then what you do write ampersand eid first column was eid second was name because name was varchar type i'm using single quote then address was of varchar type again i'm using single quote and city was of varchar type i'll use single quote the moment you execute this query you will see this it will ask you to enter the value of eid you put one then eid will have one value it will ask you to put the name you simply write john no need to write single quote john j o h n why because you have already mentioned in your insert statement single code so if you write here then you will get the error so you need to write only the name without single quotes then enter the address Rohini. then address the city then delhi and what is this this is fantastic and suppose you want to again insert a value just you simply write this slash the moment you write this slash again it will ask you enter the employee id and enter the name enter the address the moment you keep on writing slash 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 it will continuously ask you the values again and again so this is for multiple values the moment you do this for first time you get this okay so now i would like to show you the same same in oracle so let me show you the same in oracle so i have already create we have already created a table so this is uh we have already created a table uh, let's see the table first as we have already created a table let me show you the table then 
table uh, table was uh, uh, D E S C employ E M P L O Y double -E. Is this this table? It's, yes, this table is existing, having a description, but no values there now in table. So I'm trying to insert with first method. Was first method what? Insert into insert into what? Into E M P L O Y double E. Then column name. What was those columns? E I D comma then name then address and then city these were our value column names then comes values v a l u e s then values what were values one then john j o h n then Rohini, why in single quote? Because these are of type varchar. Rohini, and then city, and then city. City was Delhi, Delhi. D e l h i, whatever you want, you can write. Okay, fine. This one row created, very fantastic. So the first method is run success running successfully, and our first row is created. You want to see the row? Then write select star from select star from e m p l o y double e we see the beauty employee id one name is john address is roini and then delay so this was our first method okay fine now our second method will will follow the same by second method second method was very simple second method says you need not to write one thing very important i want to tell you suppose using same first method you want to insert only two values you just write only two. you just write only two column names and then two values now i'm using one in place of two and john in place of john i'm using uh, james sorry 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 suppose you want to insert only two values what do you do you just write use only two column names and use only two values suppose now second is james james j a m e s and i am deleting all those values now so this is also a fantastic method one row created now if you see select star from employee now you have two rows but second rows only has only two column uh, values uh, one is of employee id and second is of name so it's also a good method if you want to insert only few 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 columns then you can do also that the third method the second method is i show you the second method in second method you need not to include column name you can simply you can simply delete these column names and in values suppose i am using third and in place of john i am using uh, joseph Joseph and in place of Rohini, I'm using Rohini 4 and Derek. C one row created and let me show you select a star from employee C. The third is third Joseph Rohini and Derry. We have another method. We have another method which is that by using by using ampersand method. So what I'll do here, I'll use ampersand. First was EID, first I like first column name, and second was ampersand name i'll use name third was address i'll use ampersand this is for multiple rows ampersand address a double d r e double s and then fourth was city i'll use ampersand city this is for inserting multiple row at a time okay insert into employee values why i'm not using single colon over here because this is an integer value and why here because this was this is a varchar value okay fine okay see the beauty it's asking for employee id i simply put one uh, employee id i have already inserted third i'll in insert four name uh, suppose name is jasmine jasmine city address address is uh, uh, Hari Nagar and uh, and city is again Delhi and now see the beauty one row created fine one row created suppose again I want to insert a value I'll use this slash 
and see again it will ask no need to write insert it statement again it again it will ask employee id i, I use five employee name i use uh, uh i use shane s h a n is shane uh it's asking me uh, for address i i say uh, as as root tongue and then it's asking me for city i m a n a l i banal okay and see one row created and if i want to see what what was that see the beauty see the beauty so by using slash 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 you can you can you can put insert value multiple times so this was about how to insert this was all about how to insert values this was about how to insert values in a table 